Hello again. Well, this morning I was fiddling about on the computer looking at things. I came across some paintings a good while ago. Oh, these are not bad paintings, these are quite lovely and nice. So, I opened it up and had a look and it was, they were my paintings from 35 years ago when I was on, at the time, wet canvas in America and I introduced sketch of the day and I started pulling these sketches every day I put, I put a painting on and it was, it was very very good I thought what's the difference I'm, I'm nowhere near as good I've gone really poor I was so free and easy and I just put them on without thinking they have to be done in over a day so I just threw them on. and oh, I was so surprised that they were much better than what I was putting on now I was so free and loose and that was the secret I was free and loose and now I've started tightening up I just used to just throw it on like I never bothered to know what was it like it wasn't interested really just just pull it on now I've just put that bit of blue there and now I'm just wetting it inside here with a little bit of light red and I saw that, look, it's light red, but it's weak. It's wet down look at a lot. Like that. Now, the time when I was to doing those sketches of the day, I, I never tried to put anything in. They were very loose. So let's see what if I can do another one like those. So, so loose. No effort whatsoever to to make a a decent painting really, to be honest. I just threw it on. So we'll try and do the same thing now. Now let's see which brush shall I use. This is a, a Nisby, which is not quite as long in the, the, the Squirrel as that one, which is a, a pointed, uh, pointed very nice for doing very fine pointed work, but I prefer a round one really. I'm going to dry that bit off there. So we'll try and keep it very simple, not much in it, and see if it. It's true. Okay, so let's see. Now we'll use the same colour we just put on there, which is a burnt umber, a bit. Very, very light and a bit of blue in it. Very, 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 very light. See, so light as when I put this uh, bit of a wash on there, you can hardly tell. You see? Now I'll have to just. Maybe make it a little bit stronger now, that. Huh? Now we can leave that without doing anything else to it. Now we'll get a little bit of uh, paint grey, just paint grey. And we'll just put a little hill miles away at back, eh? Uh, 
not so. And then, we'll, while it's still wet, we'll just get some, get some more brown with a bit of blue in it, of course, which makes it a bit different colour. So, uh, we'll put a little cottage in. Uh, we'll put a tree here. So we'll start with a tree first. With a dry brush, where will it come to here? Oh, just about here. Another three. Even though I've made a mistake, it doesn't matter. And there we are. That's the tree. Hardly any colour. Just a bit of paint, a uh, bit of grey and, br and brown, uh, blue, uh, blue and brown. See, I keep that blue there, can you see, in that dirty palace? It's dirty palace of blue. So I could put my brown into it and dirty it up like that. Now, what you can do now, what I, I, you, if you're going to do a cottage, Let's, let's do it, with, I'll, I'll put it here, just here. Now I'm going to put it behind her, so I can't just do it just yet. Now that's not quite dark enough. Now what we want to do with this paint's grey, you see. We want a little bit of that brown in it, umber. Okay. So I'm putting umber into it to make it a, a, like a dirty grey, a dirty wall grey like that, see. Let me see. Well, I'll just make it just join into the earth. I will just put a bit of distance there from that to there right now we can let's dry that off now I'm going to do a roof on that house with the umber with a little bit of blue in it and this is it here, it's going to be there I'll put it a full roof stronger, more brown in it Now this brown is a little bit on the reddy cast, have you noticed that? Can you see, it's got a readiness, redness in it. Okay, so we'll carry on with our brown again. We'll do a bit of an augment this time. Now that's that. Which is a, a, a blue brunette, making it darker. Is it going darker? A bit more. Right, 
Voilà. I'm going to put some brown on that front edge. Here. If you, you can put white in there too. What we're going to do, as simple as possible, well, I'm telling you about nothing on it makes it better than a lot. Now, watch when I start putting the eye lining in, it, it changes it a lot, makes it look very nice. I like to have them just, just straight burr trees. <laughs> when they go, they do look lovely. Okay. Now let's look at this there. Let's get it stronger than that. I'll use a bit of darker brown. I just love, I love the way he could make his branches look like a fishing rod. I, I think you're a fishing rod. But there's a, a, the beautiful, so they go one way and then they'll break off and they just shoot away like that. And it's, they look beautiful really. Now that's coming up from nothing to looking like a decent little painting, isn't it? Because I've not put a lot in. If you're not used to putting branches in, think of when you were kids and you used to make what you call like catapults with two legs. We call them two legs. Can you see there's a two leg there? Make two legs. Make it go in like a fork, two leg. And one longer than one piece longer than the other. Okay. So you're doing a two leg.
Now, what do you think about this? What I'm describing to you. Now, I'm not going to tell you, I've made a lot of it. Just a simple, simple painting with nothing in it, it's just a very, very plain. Now, what do you think? Do you agree that it looks okay? So, do you agree it might look a little bit better than one what's cluttered? With all sorts of things in it? Not so unnecessary. It's the same, I think, in a, in a, a boat picture or anything like that. Little is better. One point of interest, but I won't say that's a, a, a decent point of interest. In fact, if you took that little cottage out, it would be just as nice a little picture, if not better. So you don't need to put a lot in your paintings, do you, friends? Eh? If you want to see some of my pictures from way back, what, 40 years ago, maybe more? Alan Sam is the moniker I used at the time. Alan Sam, and it was on a site called Wet Canvas, where I did one a day. So I must have done thousands over the years. Thousands, am I in the Take care everyone, love you all, see you later.